Sunday Bully Live. What is going on, fams? You know, we do this every Sunday at 10 a.m., and we're also doing it every Thursday at 8 p.m. with our new show uh, where we actually debate over things, and it's called it's called For the Win. Uh, but nonetheless, today we're going to be talking about cost, man. Uh, yesterday I went live. It was amazing, man. We had over 5,000 views in, in less than an hour, or actually a little over an hour, my bad. And um, it was just great. Uh, a lot of people were asking about costs, you know, costs, you know, uh, when you have a kennel, uh, you know, what, what's, what, you know, what are your costs looking like? What's, what's the most expensive thing, uh, that sort of thing, man. And so, you know, I decided, Hey, that makes a lot of sense. We could definitely make, um, make a live talking about it and, um, uh, you know, interact with you guys directly. Uh, let me see, man. We got a bunch of people up in here. In Sarata, we got Miss Beth. We got Adam Fields, Maurice. We got Infamous. We got D Taylor. We got Brahman, ESDLA. We got Big Bully Beach. I'm sorry, Big Beach Bullies. Bully Fam, que bola, que bola. Como está la gente buena por allá? Yeah, man. We we got a lot of people up in here. All is well, Miss Beth. Yeah, man. So let's talk about cost, man. Let's talk about expenses that a lot of people don't talk about. Before we do, Dupree Anders over here is letting you know, yo, make sure you smash that like button out the gate. What's popping roll? Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Um, so what what are some costs that that people normally don't even think about uh when when you're dealing with you know breeding and whatnot? And when I mean <clears throat> when I mean about breeding. I'm talking about, let's talk about a kennel. Let's talk about, actually, let's not talk about a kennel because that would be six or more dogs and many of you don't have that. I get it. So let's talk about having, say, two or three dogs or more, right? Um, and uh, what what are what could be some hidden costs? Well, let me tell you, up front, one of the main costs is probably going to be your facilities. Now, on Thursday, we kind of, we kind of know, we actually broke it down. But um, if you look on your screen, <clears throat> let me take the comment down here real quick. If you look on the screen, uh, you have many, many options as far as the facilities uh, that you're going to be putting your dogs in. And each one of these facilities uh, has a pro and has a con. Um, this ended up being a rabbit, a, a rabbit run, I guess, or a rabbit shoot, like Kyle was, <clears throat> Kyle was saying. But I've seen a couple of these made for dogs or something similar. Um, man, look, let's, let's talk numbers here. Something like this right here. You're probably looking at somewhere around, I want to say 20,000 altogether. Uh, you're looking at about maybe somewhere around four to 5,000 as far as the cement. Uh, you're then looking at about 15,000 for the building, maybe a little less, maybe around 13,000. And then you're looking at about another 2000, uh, for the, the fencing that they're putting in. That's without saying, uh, if they have air conditioning inside and or heating, uh, because then that would run you additional. Uh, if you look at something like this, this right here, and we, we spoke about it on Thursday. The dimensions on this is not necessarily the best. Uh, but then again, if you're breeding, say, pockets, this would be good dimensions, right? Because this looks more like a six by three is what it looks like. Maybe even six by two and a half. Um, so if you're breeding XLs, this that particular building may not be um, the one you want to go with because the dimensions of where the dogs are kept are rather small. But something like this, something like this, nice, tight, looking looking like that, yeah, it, it could easily run you uh, probably around the same 20 grand that that other bigger building that I just showed you. Uh, because a lot of times what they charge you for is the fencing and I guess the craftsmanship, uh, if you will. Also, it's very convenient. It comes already with your air conditioning and everything hooked up to it. 
So it's possible that you're looking at an additional, um, I'm sorry, at a total of roughly 20 grand. In fact, I've seen, I've seen them little tiny standalone ones for 6,000, which to me is just notorious. Um, if you're trying to go the cheap route, <clears throat> you have a couple of options. Now this, this is probably going to be the cheapest, um, of the bunch or the cheaper of the bunch. Uh, you could probably set this up for about 3000. If you notice, he's got what seems to be uh, four by fours on the ground, uh, holding together, um, <clears throat> wood chips that he probably threw in there, he or she. And then it's all, it's all basically fencing and those, uh, what are they called? Dog igloos. I think that's what they're called. Uh, the problem, the only problem you have with that <clears throat> is, uh, you, you have no way of controlling the climate, right? There's, there's no way in cooling or heating. Well, maybe in cooling, you, you could probably get some fans running there and it'll probably run you a little bit more, but you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. And with time, you know, full well, uh, them roofs, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have to buy something to cover that only because they're, they're going to rip apart. Um, but that's probably <clears throat> one of the most cost efficient setups you're going to find. Now, <clears throat> you're definitely going to need some fans or some sort of way to cool them off. Uh, because I can tell you already in summertime, that's, that's a sentence. Them dogs got nowhere to go. If you notice... I don't know what time it is there, but if you notice by the shadows, uh, the light is hitting the dogs uh, three quarter of the way of each one of their cages. So, you know, if you're living over here in Texas where we're getting 107, 110, you know, on some occasions, 115 degree, that that's just not going to fly, man. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> we got Emilio Garcia. What's going on, man? Number love. Coach K. Yeah, I don't see her yet. I'm pretty sure she'll pop in any minute now. What's going on, Furman? Number love, man. Uh, emergency surgeries can be a bummer. You have to always have emergency vet money put aside, and sometimes that's still not enough. Yeah, Furman. That's why I tell people all the time, have a vet that gives you emergency service 24-7. Uh, that way, the prices don't skyrocket. And also, um, you know, you, you, you're going to somebody that knows your dog. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Raul, what's up, brother? This is Caleb Weddle. What's going on, man? Number love. Caleb goes live every Tuesdays, I believe, at 8 p.m. Caleb, let me know what time you go live, man. Let me know the name of your live so we can throw it out there. Uh, Beth B says, that would cost 100000 in Canada. Building materials are insanely expensive post-COVID. Wow, 100000 Jesus Christ. We got bad boy Kennel Vegas. Hey fam, what's up, man? Prices include delivery about 30 G's. I figure you're talking about more than likely this one right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I could see this going for 30,000. I mean, it's it's scary. It truly is scary. Um that's why um when you look at my kennel area, for example, we we buy all the materials, but we construct everything from scratch. Uh, not only are we building it better, uh, in, you know, to our eyes, to our standards, um, because a lot of times you'll pay for, for them to come build, uh, kennels for you. And then they'll start shortcutting you and nickel and diming you on everything. So that's why we just decided, you know what, we're just going to build our own thing. Um, and, and it's not even so much to save the nickel, uh, even though you do save more than a nickel. Uh, it's more to have the specifications that we want. Otherwise, uh, oh, that's going to cost you an extra five that for, for what, bro? For, you know, to, to, to put, um, to put a door handle. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, they're, they're that idiotic when it comes to it, man. Um, Larry Kohler says, good morning, Raul and Hollywood and Steve and fam. All right, man. I'm beloved Hollywood reminding you, uh, that we're here for the knowledge. You know, the drill we're here to grow and learn, support our community. Please hit them like buttons guys. We got 67 people up in here. We we don't have enough likes. So give me some likes, man. Um, 
Berman says, uh, we're still waiting on puppies. Mama, I'm doing well. Went to schedule C-section and mom didn't have no milk as of Thursday. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on her temperature and praying uh, for the milk. Um, <clears throat> Furman, like, if, if I show up on Thursday to my vet, and for whatever reason we're not doing the C-section, because uh, say she doesn't have milk or whatever, uh, the vet, it, my vet at least, uh, needs to know that on Saturday or Sunday when it goes down, they better be there. None of this, you're going to send me to an emergency vet where they're going to charge me three times the amount. That's not going to fly. Uh, just keeping it real with you, man. Uh, Adam Fields, morning, Kyle. In Sarata, I'm looking to buy a second house in the country on a couple acres and then rent my present house in Phoenix out. Uh, it's too hot here and enough land on a suburban lot. I could hear, I hear you. And heat, heat for our breed, heat is not a good thing for our breed, guys. We got Taurus Hot Wheels. Drippy says, um, did that cheese and garlic trick this morning for the dogs? They love it. <laughs> it's not a trick. <laughs> it's a routine here, man. They do love it. Yeah, man. Shout out QBN number love. Ghost, ghost dog kennels. Yeah, man. Miss Beth, I was talking about the red barn looking kennel. Ah, okay. My bad, Miss Beth. You're talking about this one over here. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I could I could see where this could cost. I mean, this is a full barn, right? Um honestly, guys, uh, I know it looks huge, but this is nothing more than, you know, uh, the, 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 I mean, the building of it really is metal skeleton on the inside, sometimes wood to make it cheaper. And then you have these. Hold on a second. We got Hollywood. What you got, Hollywood? Hey, I want to say these would be more like getting a barn dominium built. And you're the reason why it wouldn't cost as much as that prefab one is because you would have to do a lot of the work yourself on this. Yeah, I would. I, honestly, I wouldn't mind. I would I would want to yeah. buy it with the blueprint and pretty much do it myself the other um, the other one would cost just as much because you're buying it prefabricated so you're saying it's the labor yes yeah. That's... yeah prefab they're, they're gonna kill you i i totally agree with you man if you go with something like this they're, they're gonna they're gonna destroy your wallet that's that's exactly what they're gonna do uh caleb letting you know man tuesday night bully talk starts at 8 p.m i appreciate the love roll you got it man uh drippy six five what's on the wheel today well, Drippy, uh, we got the wheel. Uh, it's a $50 spin, and we got 50% uh, if you're interested. 50% uh, stunnings is on there. We got hats. We got uh, we got wristbands. We got all sorts of things, man. So if you're interested, let me know. We'll bring that wheel up front, and uh, we'll, we'll make it spin. Here you go, so you can have an idea. We got a channel banner. We got spin again. We got wristband. We got hat and beanie. We got new vet and we got 50% studding, bro. So if you're out here trying to find a stud, you want to clean it correct. You want something to clean your stuff up. You could go with either fireball 305 or you could go with heavy Chevy Congo over here and uh, we'll do 50% on there, bro. Uh, on Congo, it must land on Congo. If it's fireball, it's interchangeable with 305 okay just keeping it real with you uh drippy saying uh hollywood i'm waiting on the new vet for me and the dogs hope it tastes like chicken you said oh i'm pretty sure it does bro uh michael he said what's up bully fam hope everyone is well what's up mike haven't seen you here in a minute uh lee foster saying just seen a beautiful excel in the uk shame about uh to have a muzzle okay Dupree, a Raul, uh, with these live videos, how about we get a mandatory 50 before you start diving into topics? Well, if I did that, people would pretty much just click off Dupree. I get it. Uh, what I'll do is, um, if we don't have 50 likes, I won't answer uh, non-member questions. And then non-members, you're, you're going to have to start liking. Raymond Bull says, other than fans and AC, what are some methods you recommend to combat heat? In Bama, uh, and it gets pretty hot and humid, I'm terrified for first summer with the dogs. Uh, for a long time, we used to use misting systems. So you have a misting system in front of a fan, and that fan is blowing, and then in the area that it's blowing, it will literally drop the temperature 
up to, uh, I will say 20 to 25 degree, uh, which made a world of difference. So if you're looking at say 110 and you drop that temperature, say 25 degree, that's 85 degree for the dog, a lot more tolerable. Not only that, the water falls on their fur. Uh, not all the dogs like that though. But the ones that did, the water would hit the fur and then the fan would also not just be sending cool mist, but would also be cooling the water already on their body. So that, that would probably be um, the other one that I can mention for you. I'm a farmer and I can build it for you guys. Taurus Hot Wheels. There you go, man. All right, man. Is this the same as Thursday Live? No, this is just me live. On Thursdays, we debate and that's me and Dante Lemon. Uh, we go at it one-on-one -on, -one on topics, and you guys learn that way as well. Uh, let's see. Um, Jeremiah saying, all I got to say is QBK has been grinding lately, loving the impromptu lives. Got you, bro. Appreciate the love, man. So, yeah, let me get back on topic here. <clears throat> and we're looking at a cheap way of uh, – or the cheapest ways. Uh, I have seen, like I said, something like this made for dogs, so it's bigger. So don't kill me on the dimensions. Uh, I've seen things like this going for uh, roughly four to five thousand, which is funny because initially they were asking for eight and nine thousand for something like this. And I guess the market let them know they need to come down in pricing and they did. Um, the other real cheap setup that works very well is this right here. There's nothing more than hog wire, uh, four by fours and the slab of cement. Slab of cement is probably going to cost you the most. Uh, it's probably going to run you three to four grand. And then um, wood and material and all that, you're probably looking at another probably 2000 at most on the high end. And it's, it's a pretty good setup. Um, if you can, and we talked about this on Thursday, if you can tilt um, the, the cement, to where you have a 3% uh, slope, either going forward or back, whatever. Whenever you're washing the kennels, it will just roll down and you can set up a nice little drainage system just to keep everything nice, clean, and, and comfy for, for both you and the dogs. Also, the other thing I would, I would probably suggest on a building like this, in fact, I'm actually considering doing this on my current uh, building. Now, mind you, we have a building and then we have new kennels that we set up. I'm referring to the new kennels we set up. I'm thinking about actually creating uh, a roof above this, right? So it would probably take about another, what, four, uh, I'm sorry, six, six to eight uh, four by fours, make them taller, make them about, I don't know, I want to say two and a half feet taller than this roof right here. Just that alone is going to is going to keep them even cooler because the roof where they're at at least where i'm at here in texas when the sun hits it you're you're going to get higher temperatures about another foot and a half two feet down so hold on i got hollywood countering countering my point what you hey, got you know would you put insulation in between the two roofs i wouldn't bro the air itself would be insulation um, I would put a, a roof above it, say an additional two and a half feet, and then make it longer, right? So it could also give me yeah, added no, I, I get it. I just didn't know if you put some of that uh, that white foam board insulation right on top. You still got that air moving between the two roofs. It just gives you that additional uh, heat barrier. Just You're think right. about it. You're you're right, uh, and you know you know what you're more of a builder than I am. But here's the thing: oh, I, I, have, I, just... I, I know someone, and I've visited them, and they actually live in a uh, what do you call them? Um, in a trailer, basically, and uh, they built a roof above oh, yeah. their trailer that was about two and a half feet. And when I climbed up there on purpose because I wanted to get the idea to see what I would do. Put my hand on their on their roof and their roof was 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 cooler than actual temperature because yeah. of the shading and the air going in between so that's that's the reasoning why i'm like yeah I hear you. there's no need to do all that man but hey i, pre I appreciate the comment bro hey and stay here with me bro stay here with me keep 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 the banners going 
So uh, yeah, I would I would build I would build another another roof above that. As you can see, there's no insulation there. That's just uh, just a sheet of metal, a sheet of zinc, right? So it's not going to protect them too much from the yeah. From that's the heat. that's that corrugated sheet metal. It's not yeah pretty, it's corrugated. Pretty, sheet. It's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, it is, and that's why I, what I would say is I would go just further out about maybe three feet in front of it and three feet behind it uh and then also to the sides an additional three feet and then raise it about two and a half feet above that and man you know that that within itself should keep them cooler then you have misting fans just shooting mist all day and that should also uh keep them cool one thing about misting fans i gotta tell you you gotta be very careful with and that is you gotta you gotta pay a little bit of an extra to get a micro dropper trust me on this micro dropper the less water it puts out the better trust me on this otherwise you're gonna soak the living daylights <laughs> off of everything there and then you're gonna have a, a serious fungal problem so in order to prevent that pay the extra and get a micro drip Okay, micro drip, that's what it is. And it's just very light, but over time, what's happening is it's cooling the air, it's hitting the dog, and in addition, as that fan is rotating, it's drying what already went because it's such such a small amount of water. Yeah, so it is it almost evaporating, just making the air cooler and very much a lot smaller? Yes. You would say? Yes, that's exactly that's exactly what uh, so it's thank, not getting the work. wet. It's just keeping the air a lot colder. Yes. What it's, doing. it's more keeping the air colder than it is wetting everything. Because if you let everything get wet, that wood is going to get fungal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get fungus in it. Yeah. Uh, and the dogs, it's it's not going to be good either. Uh, thank you, Jeremiah. Number love. Miss Beth says, could you make a new badge for two and a half year members? Miss Beth, tell you what. <clears throat> We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come up with something for our members uh, that have been around for over two years. Uh, just bear with me, but we're definitely gonna come up with something. Let let me and Kyle put our heads together and come up so, come up with something like not just a badge, but something else. All right, as well, Jeremiah. How about those retriever kennels from Tractor Supply? Those retriever kennels from Tractor Supply. Let me see. I don't have them up here. But I can tell you they are somewhat the uh, the fencing. You see the fencing here? <clears throat> They're somewhat similar, except this fencing is non-rust, right? This this is non-rust. Uh, them retriever fencing, I can tell you, I got those initially when I made my kennel area. And within a year, they were, they were rusted up. And it, it just wasn't a good thing. Uh, Initially, I didn't have a roof. Uh, so obviously it took me about a month before we got the, the whole lean to and all that stuff going. But either way, they, they don't, I don't feel that they hold up well, um, you know, with, with the water. <clears throat> the other setup that I'm seeing here that's that's cheap and effective. And, and again, uh, shout out to, uh, sh uh, shout out to Dante. He, he actually came up with all these pictures is this setup and this is a, a pretty simple setup uh he's got some grass over there as well uh i guess he's trying to train the dog to pee and poop over there which is great um he's got wood chips he's got that that roof uh <clears throat> which is th that's that's okay you know you, you you got the shading you're wanting definitely you put a misting system <clears throat> excuse me uh shooting uh, either sideways or in front of that shaded area and at least for winter I mean for summertime you're going to be more than fine what do you think about that particular uh, setup? the only thing I would say <laughs> on this setup is I would do about half of that uh, area concrete and then or at least a, uh, a third of that area concrete and then the rest pea gravel for the for the nail filing right um also yeah, they had, had their little hut up there their little house or whatever so they can get in there also if you're gonna put 
uh, misting system, I'm going to tell you right now, wood chips, that's not going to fly. You're going to keep it moist and it's going to attract fungus. And you don't want to do that. So definitely, um, I would strongly recommend if you're going to do this to make sure you have pea gravel, uh, probably bigger rocks on the bottom and then pea gravel above it. Uh, pea gravel, believe it or not, let's think, let's air in and let's it breathe. And then that, that would allow things to dry Almost and then like make sure to have like that a French, a French drain. In a way. Yeah. French drain in the middle underneath wouldn't hurt. Um, and all you need is a PVC pipe, a little, uh, a, a drain top on it. Uh, yeah. if you cement it like Kyle is saying, and then, you know, drop, drop some pea gravel on there, that would work. Um, this one is probably one of one of the most basic setups. Me personally, I don't like this setup because the dog does not have the ability to get shade anywhere unless he's inside of that little house. And more likely than not, it's going to be hotter. Yeah. Since look at the distance of that roof to where the dog is. So the dog, more likely than not, it's going to be anywhere except there. Um, definitely, you need a you need a uh, set up a shaded area for the dog. And in certain parts of the day, that sun's going to be beaming right into that little house. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. It's that's. <laughs> let me see. Uh, how many poisonous snakes do you have in the U.S.? We have quite a few, man. Uh, from rattles to copperheads in my neck of the wood. Uh, I'm sure water there's moccasins. others. Yeah, water moccasins, cotton mouths which are water mo uh, referred to as water moccasins. Lee Foster saying, yeah, too many. I agree, Ms. Beth. Uh, QBN in the chat. Salute. Appreciate you, man. Look at Shay Tree. Number love, Shay. I appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Jeremiah saying, you're 100% correct on the Mr. Micro Drip is the way to go. Yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit more like anything else in life. But man, is it going to be worth it. Uh, Goliath, careful with the Mr. and electric parts. Yes. I was laughing at Drippy. Just wait, wait till you get to it. <laughs> wait till I get to Drippy. Okay, I will. Uh, Lee Foster, wouldn't the metal sheets make it hotter than wood? Yes. This is the reason why I say if you have a metal sheet that's here, raise one above about two and a half feet, right? And what's happening is now you have this one here creating more shade and you have air constantly moving through there. And this particular sheet is actually going to be cooler to the touch than the actual environment. Uh, and I saw that with my own eyes. That's why I'm recommending it. We got Tradesman Exotic saying, what's up everyone, Lee Foster. All right, uh, Tradesman Exotics on pavers at least. Yeah, you can. Uh, need a tree in there with no roof. Yeah, a tree would work. That's a good point. I gotta give it to you. I didn't yeah. even mention that, good point. Uh, Drippy says, Miss Beth, Hollywood should have did the booty clap dance. <laughs> And a new badge for the two and a half year. You know what, uh, Drippy? I'm I'm seeing some leadership qualities. Just for that, I should give you a free spin. That, that was pretty good, man. Um, Ms. Beth says, uh, I don't do snakes at all. We don't have any poisonous snakes where I live in Canada. Yeah, you, you're up in that cold weather. Thank goodness. Hey, you know what that tells me, though? That just tells me my booty clap is becoming famous. <laughs> It is, bro. And let me tell you guys, about a year ago, you could barely hear it. Now you could hear it from a room across. You could hear it from two rooms across. Uh, it's, it's definitely becoming powerful. Uh, my bad. Infamous says, uh, I don't have any snakes at all where I'm at or any predators aside from humans. And that's a wonderful thing. That's a wonderful thing about Polynesia. I could tell you. I lived in Hawaii uh, for six years and the mongoose there would... I mean, there's no snakes. There's no poisonous snakes in Hawaii. Uh, and the few snakes that they have found are like constrictors or up in a tree or things like that. Uh, Stacy Kyle says uh, we had to go with metal and concrete because our dogs like to gnaw on wood. This is a good point, uh, Stacy. Uh, something like this. I, I don't know, man. 130 pound dog. I, I don't know. This, this works i'm going to tell you why i see this working better and that's because you have reinforcement at the top on the bottom and on the sides so you have a, you have basically rectangles over here 
if you notice, let me take the comment down so you can see the bottom of it. There's no reinforcement at the bottom. So, for example, I have a couple of diggers that would dig right through there. I can tell you, little Roxy would, she would either climb or dig underneath. That that, that would not be something that would hold her back. Um, so, yes, a design like this would definitely not be something I would, I would strongly consider, even though it is cheap. If you were to make something like this, I believe I said on Thursday, you definitely need chicken wire on the bottom so your diggers don't dig. But you definitely need another wood. Um, what is that? Two by four? You, you're going to need a, I doubt it. Yeah, if it's a two by four, that's just not going to fly. But you, you need something at the bottom or in the middle or both in order to I've reinforce seen people, it. I've seen people even dig a one foot trench all the way around it and one fill it concrete. with concrete. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's also a possibility, man. Uh, let's see, man. Uh, big shout out from Buffalo, New York. Number love. I got nothing but fans up in New York, man. Uptown New York. Number love. Thank you. Miss Beth cracking up on the booty clap. Uh, <laughs> we, we should have you booty clap for us, Kyle. You got your G-string on today? Not yet. I can go put it on if I need to. Okay, okay. Hey, guys, let me know what color you want him to wear on the G-string for the booty clap. We got Von Ragnar, Nicaragua, white anti-corrosive paint for the metal. That works. Uh, metal sheets uh, makes a world of difference for a few degrees cooler because white repels heat better than any other color. Hey, I, I got to give it to you, Von Ragnar. You're absolutely right, man. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, even some of those roofing paintings, they'll have a gray undercoat and then they put a white UV coat. Yeah, you could. Yeah, putting it on. on yeah, that that definitely would work. D Taylor, my wife is in the other room. All I hear is his booty clap. I said yes. It's famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look. Hey, what do you guys say? What do you guys say? Uh, he booty claps to this. What what happened to my volume? Oh, here you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> But give me a hell yeah if you want to see a booty clap before this live is done. Give me a hell yeah. If I get 100 likes and I get 30 hell yeahs, Kyle's going to be doing some booty clapping. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're going to get him going, man. Number love. Shaytri said, uh, go put it on, G-string. Hot pink, please. Oh, my goodness. Ms. Beth, please, no banana hammock. <laughs> oh man hell yeah oh man let, let let me push him back here for a second so he could go get get changed go get changed Kyle, because uh the hell yes are coming in like really quick bro really quick um let's see man let me let me let, let me go back on topic while kyle is uh changing up do y'all prefer a cowboy hat while he's doing it too let me know We'll get him to wear a cowboy hat while we're at it. Um, also, let's see here. Let's see here. If you were to tell me which one of all these, um, of the cheaper ones, uh, anyways, would I prefer? Uh, in reality, I would probably go with either this. Well, this one, if you have many dogs. This one, if you only have, say, one dog or maybe even two dogs. Um, and that's just because, uh, the misting system and the reinforcement is there. If you notice on this one at the very bottom, it's got a metal bar going through. So that's, that's the reinforcement is getting, obviously the dogs can't dig out. So that's not an issue. Uh, this, this right here is a very simple yet effective design to be able to start out. If you're a new breeder and say, uh, for example, Brahmin, I've seen your setup, uh, and it's good. Don't get me wrong, but something like this would be something that you could either incorporate in the future or could give you ideas, you know, uh, for cooling, like I said, but in addition, I would put, I would put that additional, um, that, that additional roof on there, man. We still got people saying, hell yeah. Infamous saying, I'm gonna switch accounts right quick for an extra like <laughs> number love, man. Hell yes, booty call. That's right. Booty call is making a booty call. There you go for Hollywood. Hollywood. There, he's cracking up in the background. 
and Sarata, hell yeah. We got Pookie. Pookie saying hell yeah, uh, Kyle. I don't know, Pookie. That they just sounds it just sounds wrong, man. It's all good. Beth B says, absolutely a cowboy hat. Yes, cowboy hat. All right, Kyle. So we need a cowboy hat and we need a booty clap. Uh, I'm ready to take my like back, says above the standard cracking up. Uh, so is Maurice, number love, man. Drippy65 says, QBN, me in, turn up, turn up, laugh out loud, hit them likes. Uh, the Q's getting fired this morning. Absolutely. Kyle, get us that hat, man, and get ready, bro. Get ready. I never thought I'd be running a strip show live over here on uh, on uh, Sunday Bully Live, but we are. But hey, one thing I do want to tell you, uh, aside from this particular uh, setup, right uh something that's actually going to cost you initially it's going to seem like some but in the long run it's actually going to pay off for you it's none other than new vet and new joint ds uh we're talking about a multivitamin here uh this multivitamin not only has vitamin c it has all the vitamins your dog need including vitamin e for vitality all right for reproduction right in addition you have new joint plus or new joint ds uh which is for the double strength that's going to give you joint support you want your dogs to to be looking straight up front man uh to be looking straight in the rear uh the last thing you want is to be feeding cheap kibble after you spent all this and after you know you tried getting your ball rolling and then all of a sudden your dog comes into what we call dietary east west you don't want dietary east west Look, look what NuVet did to this particular dog in a matter of 18 days, guys. 18 days. That's it. That's that's all all that all it took for NuVet to start doing many, many corrections. All right. Now I will tell you, NuVet comes in a bottle, as you can see, the green bottle. It's gonna run you for 55, right? And then if you auto ship. Okay, uh, it's going to drop down to 47.15. In addition, you could do the same thing with New Joint, uh, and you're going to get an additional discount. We have the QR codes there. All you got to do is put your phone up to your screen and take a picture, and it, or not take a picture, click on the link, and it's going to take you straight uh, to uh, the ordering site. Uh, the ordering site is nothing more than newvet.com with our code 513237. You need a code. You don't. You can't buy this in stores. Look at our boy Fireball. Look at him at 20 weeks when I added the supplement. He was actually going east-west. He was east-west at 20 weeks. And look steadily how he came along. And now he's as clean and as correct as you're going to get. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. If you're going to get into breeding, I strongly suggest New Vet and New Joint DS in addition to whatever you're feeding. So if you're feeding kibble, which we don't recommend, or if you're feeding raw. Now, many of you are going to tell me, well, my dog gets the multivitamins from raw uh, from the liver. Here's the problem, guys. With the amount of steroids and growth hormones they're putting into cows and chickens and what have you, do you really want that getting to your dog? So the way we sidestep it is by uh, giving our dogs a new vet as the multivitamin in substitution to the liver and new joint plus or new joint ds look at this dog in a matter of a week look at the difference makes a difference guys so definitely uh make sure to get your new vet um and in addition in addition to all that um more importantly it's going to be helping your dog's health overall well guys listen i gotta let you know we got Kyle right now in the background. He's he's practicing his booty clap. Oh uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What what's that, Kyle? Hold tight. Oh okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I thought it meant he was ready to go. My bad, my bad. All right. So let, let me go to the comments here real quick, man. Shay Tree says fire. Samurai Bulldogs always nice input. Keep it up, man. From Canada, number love, Samurai. Thank you. Miss Miss Beth says chain link fencing will not hold up. For large breed dogs, they are too weak and can be chewed through uh, very easy. Well, that depends which uh, gauge of uh, chain link, Miss Beth. I could tell you commercial grade chain link, the dog can't chew through that. 
Uh, if a dog chews through that, it's not a dog worth keeping, in my opinion. Um, D Taylor says five dollar entry fee uh, to the strip club at the queue. <laughs> Look at this, Kyle. They want to pay, man. They want to pay to see you do your thing, bro. Uh, Dupree Ander says, yeah, still got to call him tomorrow, man, for another bottle. He's talking about new vet. Drippy65 says, uh, we're going to get new members now. Laugh out loud. Uh, Brian Cooper, let me know when you have some litters coming up. I'm looking for a Lilac Tri Mail. Yeah, you could always download our QBN app. Uh, let me go ahead and put this up so you can check it out. And within the app, um, it, it gives you all of that information. Let me, let, me, let me see if I'm actually putting up the right one. Hold up. Okay, sorry. That's the wrong one. Uh, download QBN app. It is absolutely free, like I said. And there you can see all of our upcoming breedings, um, you know, from, from uh, our Shamrock to uh, Mocha breeding. Where's Mocha at? Here she is. Uh, Shamrock to our girl Mocha breeding is up in there. We have our girl Kadabra, uh, who we actually bred our boy Congo to. Uh, that breeding is up in there. Um, we also have one with our girl, uh, Cafe. Uh, as soon as uh, she's ready, we're going to go ahead and put Shamrock into her. So make sure you go in there, find the one that you like. And through the app, you can send me a message by clicking contact us. And I will definitely respond to you. Uh, Miss Beth says, I'm talking about the kennels you buy from T oh, Tractor Supply. They're not a thick gauge. Oh, yeah. No, but um, I will say, yeah, I will say they, they sell these hog wire panels. They're rectangular hog wire panels. They're amazing. Uh, you know, if you're able to weld them to metal, they're, they're going to be strong enough. If not, just make sure they're reinforced, uh, you know, whether with screws or, or with, if you're going to do nails, make sure you, you do it all the way through. Um, I'm talking about where the metal meets wood. Uh, you want to reinforce on every single one of them. Uh, Instagram says, I think I like the big red kennel and the outdoor setup with the roofs. Uh, let me see. Let me see here. So you're talking about this one over here. Yeah, you're, you're talking about this one right here. Yeah, that, that one right there is, is, is pretty good, fam. Um, oh, okay. Okay, definitely. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, Kyle uh, doesn't have his G-string ready uh, today, so he's not going to be able to do it, but we're definitely doing it, definitely doing it on the next live. Maybe next Thursday we could do it uh, on our uh, For the Win podcast. Um, let's see. John Ferris says, uh, from Belfast, I have a try Merle bitch. All right, man. Um, Mr. Freak Day says, how can one stop a dog from having diarrhea? I was told that to boil some chicken and some rice. Do you have any other recommendations? Freaky, here's the thing. Um, it depends what's causing the diarrhea. One of the things I use is raw pumpkin. Um, here, let me show you a video of what we do. Because uh, raw pumpkin, believe it or not, has a particular bacteria in it that's really good for the for the gut. It's got probiotics. So this, this is what we
Yeah, and I'm well aware that pumpkin is not available throughout the whole year. That's the reason you see me putting it into a Ziploc, and we're going to go ahead and throw it into a freezer, right? So if I ever have a dog with the runs or whatever, at whatever time of the year, I got plenty of supply. Uh, for the gentleman that was asking about breedings and whatnot, let me show you this video. It's going to show you about QBN app, everything that it's got in there, in addition to order new vet. Check it out. So if you wanted a consult from us, I do consult guys. If you're a member, if you're a mentorship level uh, member, automatically, you already know once a month, all you got to do is schedule it with me. We're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, 20 minutes FaceTime live. So if you're a new breeder and you're looking at where to set up the kennel or you want me to send pictures to you as to what kennel setups I prefer, that sort of thing, we could definitely sit down and have a conversation. If you're looking to uh, buy a puppy and you don't know which one to pick or you're looking at three different pups and you want to know which is the best or one not, you could also set up a consult with me and you do that through the app as well. Um, as well as you can see our breedings there, you can see our dogs, genetic testing is on there, as well as their pedigree, as well as our upcoming uh, breedings. Uh, let me see. Million, million Dollar Mind says, uh, AI micro male to standard female, should I go natural birth or C-section? Uh, if he's a micro male, uh, she shouldn't have an issue. If the male is smaller than the female, normally you shouldn't have an issue. In fact, guys, normally, normally, um, I've, I've, I've even done breedings where I had a bigger male than a female and the female gave birth and you normally don't need a C-section normally, um, unless the male is that much bigger. Now, as a breeder, we do C-sections, right? And that's an added cost. But the reason we do the C-section is so we don't lose any puppies whatsoever. Uh, we found that even in, in the best of situations where we've had females give birth, we always lose at least one puppy. Um, and so in order not to lose them, that's, that's what we do. Uh, and I would strongly suggest uh, you consider that. Uh, you got it. You got it, man. Drippy says, I need help with my kennel setup. I'll be setting up an appointment. Absolutely, man. Uh, that's 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 what we're here for. Uh, like I said, you could do our mentorship level or you could do $5 membership like a lot of people do. And we answer all member questions here. Um, if you if you like to take a look at the setup we have, uh, we actually did this ourselves. Now we have since, if you notice in the background, you saw where we had the barrels where they would actually go in. We have since closed that off completely. We actually put a split unit in there and it's got fans blowing to both sides. And uh, for example, yesterday it got all the way up to 90 degree here. So we tested it out. Uh, we, ha we have the split unit where it automatically goes off at anything above 77 degrees Fahrenheit and the fans as well. And uh, we went in there and we, we got the temperature. It was actually at 90 degree outside. It was actually 75 degree inside. And the split unit was running on low. Um, so I am very uh, hopeful that, you know, this summer when it hits, you know, 110, for example, that we could actually put it on high and you know have the fun, the fans pushing it out and hopefully we can maintain the temperature in there anywhere between 80 to 85 degree that's my goal and then in addition outside we're going to add the micro drip um misters um miss beth says she loves our kennels thank you um let me let me ask you guys this and i'm going to post it up there again i wish i had a picture so i could show you 
I, I came ill prepared today. So I'll show you guys the video. But um, take a gander as to how much uh, kennels like this ran. Take a gander. Let me know how much you think uh, the whole thing uh, ran. And yes, my wife did all of the welding. Uh, I can't be around metallic gases. Uh, so definitely I was there helping her, you know, we set everything up, but she, she, she does, she does all the welding for me. Um, so yeah, um, total cost for that. I, I'll let, I'll give somebody a free spin. If you come within a hundred dollars of the price of what it cost us to actually build that. Um, so we, we, we already got somebody here saying Alexander Rockin 5k. Nope, was not 5K, man. You'd be surprised. Thank you, Isarathan. I'm a love. D Taylor, what's on the wheel today? Uh, well, D Taylor, uh, for $50 spin, uh, we got uh we got hats, beanies, we got wristband, we got uh channel banner, we also got 50% stud fees on uh Congo and on Fireball slash 305. Up to you. All right. Uh, infamous saying 9k uh, for all because uh, you built it yourselves. Wow. Uh, Shaytree Tree saying 7k. Demet Demetrius uh, Delane saying 3300. Uh, 25k. Uh, Enterprise Group. Enterprise. Here's the deal. They were charging me 25k to make that exact build. Uh, the same people that that put the fencing. They they were charging me 25k to to, to make that build. Um, so no, no, 35K, no, no, I would I would never pay that for that. Uh, it's too simple to make. It's too simple to make. Miss Beth B says 1500. Oh, Ghost Dog says 3K. Emilio says 15. Adam Fields says 3,800. Uh, Infamous, <laughs> Infamous says 9,467.83. I feel like we're playing the prices right, man. Million Man Mile says 2,500. Uh, RGB Kennel says 1,200. Woo! What are your thoughts on them house shades that insulate the AC and heating in Dallas, Texas? It gets hot down here. Yeah, you probably need some insulation, bro. Drippy saying 3K. Above the standard, 7,900. Hades, the pocket, 6,500. V's Bully Team, 17, uh, 1,750. And Sarata, 2,500. Miss Beth, are, are we talking pre-kennel or all of them? I'm talking about just that section, which is a total of... We set up ourselves, okay? Um, let me see. Everybody, everybody's taking good shots. Some of you taking some good shots. Alexander, 18K. Lorenzo, when you have pups, do you have specific kennel to go in? If so, how does it differ from the normal kennel? Lorenzo, I'm going to answer that question. Excellent question. And it goes with this build. Okay. Um, poor Bruno the Merle, 6,900. Kyle, do me a favor. Uh, can you go to our video that we just recently made? And take a picture of the kennel area. Uh, I believe it was the uh, the price for bullies, the the most recent one. Uh, send this, uh, upload the screenshot so I can show people something. Um, okay, she's saying per. No, I'm talking about the whole thing, Miss Beth. I'm talking about the whole thing. Lee Foster, 4K. Raymond Bulls, 1700. Rottweilers, 5500. Air conditioning, uh, 12 to 15. Uh, Pookie, 1700. Pookie, somebody else already said 1700. D Taylor, 1250. Jeremiah, 1500. 155. Oh, 1700. Drippy, already somebody said 17. Uh, 3500 to 4K. And Ms. Beth says 5500 in materials, I'm thinking. All right. So. Hey, you need a screenshot of what? Uh, you know that last video we made? Uh, Prices, American Bully Prices, American yeah. Bully Pricing Guide. Do me yeah. a favor, go in there, take a screenshot uh, of the closest shot I have to the kennel area, so that, like yeah, big, 
yeah, go ahead, zoom in on the kennel area and upload it so I can show it to him. Okay, I got you. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you guys right now. In total, in total, let me see who's the first person that set the price because a lot of y'all love to repeat the price. So let me find the most accurate. Okay, most accurate. This is what I spent. And he's pretty much on the dot. That's what I spent. That's just literally materials. That's what I spent. That was cement, metal, the the roofing. And to be honest with you, I had to overspend because the sheet metal, they, they only come in a, a particular amount or, or bundle, if you will. And so, for example, when I did the Bully Oasis, the metals I had already bought for the kennel area, the extra metal, we just went ahead and put it up there. Um, it was cement. Uh, here we go. Let me show The hardest, the hardest part of that building, in my opinion, was that cement slab in the very back. Okay, uh, that was um, that was a, 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 a two and a half foot cement slab by Jesus. Let me see. We have one, two, three. We have six kennels there, and they're all. We have three that are six, and and four that are, and three that are eight. So we're looking at 24 plus 18. So you're looking at 42 feet. So you're looking at two and a half by 42 feet of cement slab. And no, I didn't have a truck, you know, come fill it or none of that. It was just my wife and I. We bought a we bought a, a cement drum and basically mixing. So we bought, I want to say it was a hundred and it was 120 bags of cement. We filled with some sand and, you know, uh, we, we did put uh, metal in there as well uh, so it could bend and not crack. And uh, it took us two days uh, to finish it all as far as the cement. But just the back slab, we did that in one day. We started at 730 in the morning. We didn't finish till eight o'clock at night. Uh, you could just imagine 120 bags of cement. So it was two bags of cement mix, pour two bags of cement like that over and over and over and over again. Uh, was it worth it? I think so. I'm not paying anybody $25,000 to do that. Um, it was very doable. Um, so uh, we're looking at six kennels, uh, divide 2,500 by six. And again, guys, that's just the initial build. We did add to that, but 2,500 divided by six kennels, that's $416 a kennel. That's what it came out to. Uh, so, you know, you, you you put a little bit of elbow, elbow grease, man. And um, yeah, you could get things done. You really can. Uh, and I know prices have gone up. So the more the prices go up, the more you got to do things yourself, guys. Uh, Drippy has uh, got to 2K. It's a little bit more than 2K. Just a hair. Just a hair more. Yeah. So that's me standing there. Um, and if you notice there, well, you can't notice it in that picture. Unfortunately, you can't notice it, um, in that picture he just posted, but we have kennels there that are six feet wide by 10, right? Six by tens and eight by tens. So we had, a, uh, we had somebody ask a question earlier, do I put puppies in the kennel area and if so are there particular kennels we put them in yes that's what the eight by ten is for uh kyle do me a favor can you go to my instagram and um screenshot or download screen record uh aruba with the puppies in the eight by ten so there's an eight by ten section that's where we put aruba uh, mama aruba our oldest dog and we set her up there uh with the pups right that's that's her um and we'll we'll set her up in there with the puppies uh we have two more just in case if we have more breedings we would then set up the puppies with their moms in those particular uh kennels good question though uh six by tens for example we put our males in, in six by tens um and now they have an enclosure where they're able to go in on that slab uh and now 
we we had put initially we had put hay during the winter in there uh now we've taken that out so the slab is always nice and cool so we got air conditioning in there plus you have a nice cool slab uh there shouldn't be a reason for them to have any type of heat issues uh i want to say uh also mark whitehead bro uh i want to thank you uh for becoming a new member uh let me give you some love bro yes sir so we do this every sunday at 10 a.m and we're doing it now every thursday at 8 p.m let me go over here to the um uh yeah miss beth saying it's disgusting how much more stuff costs in canada miss beth you're gonna have to come down to texas uh jeremiah uh texas prices i tell you i'll spend 2500 dollars going to home depot and back in just gas Ma. Oh, okay. Okay. He's not saying that those are Texas prices. He, he lives out in California. Yeah, bro. I drove to California and I was just amazed how you guys are paying $7 a gallon. This was like, a, I want to say a year or two ago, two years ago, it was like $7 a gallon. Unbelievable. Um, so about that much for it all. No, no, not even close, bro. Not even close. Uh, was it built before COVID? Um, no. I want to say the new kennels were we okay. So the new kennels were built like this. We built three kennels, eight by ten, and then we built three kennels after that. About I want to say six months to a year after we built the other uh, three kennels, and that was all done uh, post COVID. Post COVID, Lee Foster, nice job, man. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the fam. Absolutely, uh, for our guy uh, Mark Whitehead. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Uh, but Budokal is saying my female's on her second heat off topic, but I noticed she has started putting her backside in the alpha female's face, kind of forcing her to take note. Uh, have you seen this? Yeah. Uh, and typically I don't like, I don't like it when females are in heat. And then when they do that, they'll trigger the other female to go in heat. And then one day she wakes up in a bad mood and then you got, you got yourself a nice dog fight. So yeah, no, I, I, I have seen that. I typically don't like seeing that. Um, you know, if it's the first or second day, you're probably not going to have any issues, but once that other female goes in heat and then she tries to hump the other one, you, you could run into some sort of issue. Um, tell you what guys, I will show you the eight by 10 on Thursday at 8 PM on our for the win uh podcast uh for now we're just gonna go ahead and sign off so kyle go ahead and jump on here and uh and let him have it bro yeah i can't find it i'm looking everywhere i'm trying to find it oh no worries i'll have it downloaded yeah, we'll get it for next time it's your boy hollywood you boy in the back of yeah our guy steven he's having some sort of internet issues today he let us know man so i'm hoping he gets that squared away uh, again, guys, it's been Raul from the Q catching you on the next one. <laughs>